it's quarter to one. Well, that was very quiet. It was like, welcome to Explore Kids Online. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Explore video. And today we are going to talk about fruit. Okay, do you like fruit, Ellie? Yeah. Have an orange. Okay. It's actually a plastic one. And have a grape. These are grapes. In fact, maybe if you could just hold your hands up like 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 that, kind of, that would be good. And then I'll stick a banana there and uh, perhaps a watermelon. No, actually, let's, let's put the watermelon there. I'll stick the banana there. Okay. Um, that's not going to stay. That's not going to stay. Okay. Just uh, pop it in your mouth like that. That's oh, it. Oh, that's no. disgusting. It's only, it's, it's all right. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. And then there, because I'm going to, you're, you're, I'm, I'm turning you into a fruit tree. Okay. Okay. Uh, raise that arm up a bit. That's it. That's very good. Okay. And there. There you go. Lots and lots of different fruits. You've got fruit growing on you, Ellie. Fruit go All right. You can let it go. Okay, look at all of that stuff. Yeah, look at all of that. But because we are talking about fruit growing on us or fruit coming out of us. And uh, if you know anything about the Bible and if you, 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 you know anything about, about Christians, that you'll know that we're probably talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, and this is, this is the kind of things that are going to come out of us when um, when we're living close to God and God's Holy Spirit is at work in our lives. So you can see the different ones there. You can see love and joy and peace and patience and kindness Where's and goodness. Peace? peace is there. Look, it's the pair. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and goodness and gentleness and faithfulness and self-control. And those are all the kind of the good things and the good ways to live and the good kind of uh, characteristics that we will have if we're living close to Jesus and um, letting God's Spirit work in our lives. In fact, we're go grab one of those bits of fruit again, Ellie. Which one? Doesn't matter. The okay, the banana. Uh, again, in fact, the banana. You know, the, it, we're not really talking about this kind of fruit, actually. We're um, talking about. In fact. In fact, over the years doing children's work, sometimes talking about bananas and oranges and apples when it came to talk about the fruit of the Spirit confused people as much as anything else. But what you've got to understand is this. In the same way that a banana comes from a banana tree, it's the fruit of a banana tree. It grows out of a banana tree. It comes out of a banana tree. In the same way, when we're living close to God, and when we're following Jesus, and when we're allowing God the Holy Spirit to work in our lives, so these things, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, they come out of us for all to see. Very, very simple in that sense, really. And uh, we find the fruit of the Spirit talked about in the Bible in a letter written by a guy called Paul to some churches... Uh, in a place called Galatia, and it's called Galatians. But do you know the interesting thing about when Paul wrote that letter? Do you know where he was? Mm -mm. He was, oops, not that one. <laughs> he was there? in prison. Get rid of that one there. Yeah. He was in prison. He was locked up in a prison, and he was in prison for no other reason than that he was a Christian. That's Can you imagine? That's terrible. It, it does actually happen even in our world today, uh, in different countries of the world, actually. It's very, very sad. Um, but that's what happened to Paul. Now, you can imagine that Paul would um, feel quite sad. He might feel quite grumpy. He might feel quite angry. He might feel... Um, as if um, his whole life was just Would serving Jesus was really him? bad. I don't know. Um, he might have actually felt that his life was really not very good. But do you know what? That's not what Paul was like. He, even in prison, he showed the fruit of the Spirit that we're talking about. He showed love and joy 
and peace. So instead of being angry at the people that have put him in prison, he showed love and he showed joy and he showed peace and he showed kindness. Instead of being sad and thinking, oh, my life's so terrible, he had joy and he had gentleness and he had goodness. And instead of being selfish and thinking about himself because he had such a terrible time being in prison, he was kind, he showed kindness and goodness and faithfulness, which is another word for being trustworthy. And instead of being angry, like we said before, he showed self-control. And he showed these things so much um, that the people around him were quite amazed at the way he lives. And even some of the Roman soldiers apparently became Christians. But then and they get arrested too. Well, well, yeah, it's it was a bit more complicated than that. But anyway, um, one of the other things he did to show his love and his kindness is he wrote letters to his friends and he wrote letters to the different churches telling them how to live for God and helping them and giving them advice and giving them teaching and information about God. And one of the things he wrote about to the churches in Galatia was all about how the fruit of the Spirit the things that grow out of our lives when we're living close to God is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and all of those other things. Should we hear a song about it? Yeah. We love the people that are singing this song and we love this video. It's by Go Fish and a, a church that's put this video together. Absolutely brilliant. Here we go.
Well, there you go. There you go. Now, um, they looked like they were having a lot of fun there, didn't they? Very, very messy. And I'm not quite sure what happened with that white screen in the middle there. Um, must have That must have been a bit weird. But um, you can see the full inter uninterrupted version of that video if you go on YouTube yourself and search uh, Fruit of the Spirit, Spirit Go Fish. Fish. Yeah. Now, we're going to read you another story. Oh, are you going to read it? No, I'm just showing it. You're just showing it. Okay. Jesus in me, the fruit of the Spirit is Jesus in me. I'm going to read this book, and it's by Dandy Daly McCall, and the pictures are by Jenny B. Harris. And because the reality is you might not ever get put in prison for being a Christian. In fact, I hope you don't, because that's not a nice thing to happen. So how do we live out the fruit of the Spirit in our lives? How do we show these great things and show that we're living close to God and show that Jesus is in us in our daily lives? Well, there's lots and lots of ways, but this book might give us some ideas. So here we go. <laughs> No, 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 I've got it. <laughs> I've got it, I think. <laughs> okay, so. and they can... Oh, here we go. Do you want to read it and then show them the picture? And then no, 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 it's good. Here we go. So... Do you want me to put it down for you? There we go. Right, so... When I get up early, pull my crayons out, and I'm so excited that I want to shout... Then I draw a picture for my mum and dad because I know that getting it will make them very glad. That's love. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Feeling good and cheerful on a cloudy day. Filled with giggly laughter when, I, when I'm hard at play. And when I lose at soccer, which is football, clearly an American book, football when I lose at football and it's all still okay that's joy that's Jesus in me the fruit of the spirit is joy here we go again yeah when we're getting cranky because it's late and night at night but I say I'm sorry when we start to fight oh look those two girls are fighting there Then before you know it, everything's all right. That's peace. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is peace. When we drive to Grandma's, and it takes so long, and I feel like whining, but I know that it's wrong, and from deep within comes a Jesus song. That's patience. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is is patience. When a friend falls down and he scrapes his knee, oh dear, that's not very nice. And the one who rushes to help is me, and I kneel to help him so carefully, that's kindness. That's Jesus in me, the fruit of the Spirit is kindness. If I help my neighbour and I shovel snow, we've had some snow just recently, haven't we? But I keep it secret, only God will know. Something good's inside me and I let it grow. That's goodness. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is goodness. And of course we can help people in lots of different ways mm -hmm. as well, can't we? Okay. When I call my grandpa, who is very old... <laughs> Your grandpa is very old. He's ancient. <gasps> or, <laughs> or I, I don't mean it. Or I walk the puppy without being told. And I don't forget it when the weather's cold. That's faithfulness. Remember I said that's about being trustworthy. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is faithfulness. When I mind my manners and don't push in line, when I hold my brother and I'm glad he's mine, or say please and thank you, it's a real good sign, that's gentleness, that's Jesus in me, 
the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. When I want more candy, more sweets, <laughs> but I keep my cool, or I stop from running at the swimming pool, and I don't splash others if it breaks a rule, that's self-control. That's Jesus in me. The fruit of the Spirit is self-control. Bearing fruit for Jesus is no mystery. I just act like Jesus because he lives in me. And he makes me everything that I can be. That's all. That's Jesus in me. Jesus in you and me. And the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, He's and self-control. Did I was that peace? Well, it's you still... Said love, joy, patience, kindness. Oh, well, it's still peace. And there's a big list of them again there. And that's that book. And there's lots and lots of... And so it, there's lots and lots of practical ways in our daily life that we can show the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Okay, right, it's time to do a craft and um, <laughs> we're going what are you doing <laughs> and we're going to make one of these nice little kind of uh, fruits. fruits they're kind of like fruits it's got a leaf on the top that says fruit of the spirit and uh, if you look at each of these strips mm. they say they say one of the fruits of the spirit in fact except I realise that I've missed off Gender gentleness so that's not on there mm. but um, you can see exactly what you're supposed to do from that you simply write the words on the strips of paper so what you need to do is get some colored paper or if you haven't got any colored paper you can color them in uh, color in some pieces of paper and on them you write well, they can just be all white the fruit if you want of the spirit fruit. or you can just do a white fruit if you want now so in advance we've cut a load of the strips Colours of paper thing. that we need um, because we, um, we we realize the amount of time yeah. that it takes to cut out. You also need a couple of pipe cleaners or one pipe cleaner per craft that you're making, per one of these that you're making. You need uh, a felt tip uh, oh, or a crayons. marker pen or crayons yeah. or something to write Pencils with. Um, and you need a pencil for making some holes okay and of course the safest way to make holes in paper using a pencil is to have what on earth is that they're pins oh that's not very safe at all is it <laughs> okay put those down over there is um is some blue tack so that you can kind of put it on the table and push into them it's nice and safe for you and it doesn't damage the table. So, first thing we want to do, yeah, you can use one of those if you want. No, to oh, yeah, you can use a pen, but a pencil tends to be a bit easier. So, first thing to do, Ellie, is pick some, pick some things and we're going to write the fruit of the spirit. You want the yellow one, okay? Yes. How okay. many do we need? On which we one need nine all together. So what do I start and the first with? one is love. So, Am I love. doing joy then? No, you write love. We'll do two of them. Okay. Well, we'll do them together, do them, and then we can uh, tell everybody what we're what we're making. So, love. Okay, the next one is Wait. joy. Okay, very good. I wouldn't do that on all of them though, because it would take too long. Okay, so are you ready? So, next one, the next one is joy, joy which is J O Y. Okay, brilliant. Then we need another colour. Wait. Okay, <laughs> and it's peace. So, P E A C E. There you oh. go. And the next one. Is patience. So that's P. I could put the those things on the on the screen, couldn't oh. I? Actually, and you can copy off of that there. But it's patience. It's P. Where's patience? Oh, 
says oh, it says long suffering on there, which is another word for patient. <laughs> um, but it's P A T I E N C E patient. That's it. Brilliant. And the next one is kindness. Next one's kindness. Oh, I do like your little drawings. Mm -hmm. Right, so pick another strip. Uh, yellow. The yellow one. The next one is kindness. That's K I N D N E S S. 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 Kindness. Mm. The next one is what's the next one the next one it doesn't actually really matter about the order of these okay um because uh, let me tell you something else about the fruit of the spirit you can't have just one or the other they're all a part of one another so if you've got love you should also have joy you should also have kindness because kindness is showing love in action isn't it so it's it's all part of the same thing but let's just so let's go faithfulness next so kindness faithfulness f a I T H F U L N E S S faithfulness, which as we said is oh. um trustworthy. Oh don't worry, the matter does it. Right, okay, faithfulness, uh hey. goodness next mm. we'll do. Oh looking for your picture. What are you drawing? An apple. An apple. Very nice. Okay. Mm. Goodness is uh, G O O D N E S S. Okay. And uh, mm. goodness, faithfulness, gentleness. Wait, I still need to draw my thing. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Gentleness. Gentleness then. G. Oh, no. It's fine. I've got my pink. Oh, well, do the next. Do gentleness is pink. G E N T L E N E. S, S, there we go, gentleness. And then the last one is, you want that yellow? Okay, I'll have that yellow, because we've got two yellows. Uh, and the last one is self-control. S, E, L, F, that's self. You can put a little bit of a dash if you want to. Okay, C, O N T R O L. Okay, self control. I didn't do that one. Self control. Brilliant. Then what you've got to do is you've got to gather them all up together and put them together. How do you spell control? C O N T R O L. Oh, and I need to come up with a picture. Oh, yes. I've got an idea. I'm going to find an R sharp pencil in here, if there is such a thing. I did a pineapple. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to find a nice sharp pencil. Well, that's, that'll do. Right, so, then what you do is I you've got to put, put them, them all together, together like this. Okay, make together. sure that they're all the same way up. And what you want to do is you want to, I say put them all together, you're then going to poke a hole in each side. But the thing, thing that you're going to find is 
that you're going to be unlikely to get a pencil through all nine strips of paper. So you're going to have to do them a few at a time. So I'll make a start poking through and you poke through on both sides. Remember, use a bit of blue tack, a nice sharp pencil and you just push. Get a grown up to help you if it's a bit tricky and a bit kind of uh, needs a little bit more um, strength than maybe you can, you've got. Okay, so here we go. Oh. Okay. Which side do we do on both sides? Both both ends, yeah. Both ends. Oh, you know, have you got some blue tack? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I don't know if it works. <gasps> no, it's ripping. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. That's fine. Got a hole in it. I got a hole in it. Right. Do you want me to do some more of yours? Mm -hmm. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then what you do is you need your, I'll, I'll get rid of this thing here now. Uh, there we go. What you know, then need is to get your, your pipe cleaner. Okay. And... Uh, do they have to be in all of the two different kind of order or can they just be in any? No, they don't need to be in any kind of order. I mean, you can you can take the time and put them in order if you want to. Okay, and then thread the pipe cleaner through. Make sure the writing's on the outside, um, like this. Okay. And uh, oh well, there we are. That's good. Okay, and poke it through, and then uh, take the short end. There, and then what you need to do is just make a little squiggle like this uh, okay do mine because yeah mine i can work because i don't think the holes are all lined up okay okay one second okay so pause that video then just just very very quickly um so I could get Ellie's done. Um, but but coming back to where we were, we put the, so you put the in on one side and then all you need to do, just like Ellie's showing there, is just poke it then through the other side like that. Okay. Poking it through. Now what we've not done, okay, what we've not done, oh no, hang on. Oh. I didn't finish, oh. did I? I didn't finish all of mine. Quickly. Oh. <laughs> quickly, oh. quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh. 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 There we go. Oh. Oh. All right, come back to what I was doing. Oh. <laughs> oh. All oh. right, come back to what I was doing. Yeah, once you poked it through one side, then poke it through the other. And remember what I said, you want to have the writing on the outside okay and can you see how I'm curving it that's ultimately the effect that you want sorry you can't see how I'm curving and as I curve the writings on the outside that's the effect that you want okay and uh, there we go and uh, now on this one, I've done a leaf. Okay, you can see, and the leaf says the fruit of the spirit. So you can cut the shape of a leaf to um, to put on yours um, if you want to. Uh, that's great. Now what you need to do then is just to stop it from slipping. Again, just curl your Ellie. 
going to do you just curl your uh, pipe clean around like that okay just to kind of that's it just fold it fold it sort of around like that that's to stop it from going and then poke it back up again okay and then because it's got a pipe cleaner's got like a sharp bit at the top just fold it over like that to make it nice and safe and then you've got the shape that you want and to get that's it fold that over yeah and then to get the shape of the fruit you just pull that's it brilliant you just pull these out so they're all sort of but how does it mine won't work oh yeah it does yeah no, you're nearly there there we go no it doesn't yes there you are you're doing it they're all tangled well that's fine and it's a bit weird well mine's a bit weird shaped as well but this is more like a mango <laughs> it's a mango it's a mango it's a mango and there, there you've got a reminder of what the different fruits of the Spirit are. And we can pray every day, God, as I stay close to you, let those fruits come out of my life. In fact, should we pray that now? Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you that you are a good God and that you are loving and kind and gentle towards us. And Father God, we want to be like that towards other people. So we pray, Father God, help us to stay close to you so that this fruit of the Spirit may grow out of our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us again for another video. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.